Thank you for joining me for the 10th month of the Makers Creative Collab put on by PM Artist Studio. This month we will be focused on objects otherwise considered trash. Each of the creatives is going to pull something out of their garbage and create something hopefully unique. Please follow along this video hop by following the end screens at the end of our videos or in our description. I have chosen to make something out of my discarded hot chocolate box. And this is a sneak peek at my project. But before we get started, let me tell you who I am. I am Peg. I call my channel to Old Crows Mixed Media. I like to put out process videos in a short digestible format. I'm focused on journal making. I dabble in encaustic wax. And there's a lot more going on over at my channel. So I hope you'll stop by, subscribe to my channel, give me a like if you think I'm doing something that you enjoy, and that notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. So to get started on this particular project, I had this Swiss Miss hot chocolate box that I was about to toss in the trash. These are all the things that I'm receiving in my mailbox on a weekly basis. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to try to use some of these. I took that hot chocolate box and formatted it into a book cover. Each of these individual cards that I received or the direct mail pieces that I received, I am going to utilize as signature covers or signatures within the book to make them more appropriate for this project and to cover up what is on them now, because I'm getting a lot of political stuff from both sides of the aisle, I am going to cover them in gesso. After I gessoed these, I hit them with a little texture paste and some alcohol inks. And this is what I have to work with now. So you can see those direct mail pieces became pretty attractive little components, I think, for this book. They're different, each one is different. I'm adding a little color. You can see some of the wording here underneath where the direct mail message was. Some are completely covered. I'm pretty content with what I have to work with thus far, but I want to add in another element and that is just using a graphite pencil or charcoal to create a very loose, um, unintentional type of face or photo. My initial thought was to put a face on every page, but I drew some, liked them, drew some, eh, didn't care for them so much, and I wanted it to be very um, loosely represented. So I held my charcoal pencil as far to the edge as I could, came back in with a um, micro pen and I put my shading in with coffee which is another trash which I normally would have thrown that cold coffee in the bottom of my cup down the drain. So let me adjust my camera a bit and let's take a look at this finished product now that I've kind of explained my process. So this is the finished book as you can see it is decorated with one of those graphic illustrations on the front cover. I have a piece of mica going up the side right here. Some cheesecloth that was rust stained. The mica and I put the liquid pearl drops on the mica. This piece came from Sharon over at Texture Junkies in a Happy Mail and I have attached that little piece of filigree metal with this piece of lace and I glued that lace onto the piece and then glued the piece onto that little tab I created for the book, embellished it with some liquid pearls. And that is a magnetic closure. So I inserted some magnets to close. This little booklet is one of the Distress Oxide direct mail pieces with some music sheets inside. And I used that to tuck it inside this belly band that was created by a piece of Happy Mail paper. I also utilized this embellishment as out of a toilet paper roll. And I created, rather than throwing away the toilet paper roll, I cut them up and made embellishments out of them. 
The inside front and inside back cover are covered with a piece of rust-stained cheesecloth over music sheets. Now let's stick that back inside and take a look at these signatures. The first is a piece of canvas that I rust-stained with staples. I like the way the staples look, so I left them in. You can see up at the top where I actually took them out. This is a piece, or not a piece of, but a bottle cap that was in the parking lot that was run over, and I embellished it with some gold wax and glued it to the piece of rust-stained canvas. Mamagami, or kneaded magazine paper here, which is one that I had utilized, crumpled up for a, another project and didn't really care for the way it turned out. So I do like it in this application. Another of those direct mail pieces with the graphic illustration on the back. I've also used a little bit of stamping, um, some of my gold pen, the liquid pearls, just kind of trying to make both of these um, faces kind of represent themselves in a, in a little different way. Kathy Kelly. There is composition book paper that is throughout this, and it came from a composition that I was embellishing or altering that I cut the paper out. So I have utilized that. As we flip through to the back of the book, you see another bottle cap here. And that bottle cap is embellished as an altered paper clip. And it has a charm attached to it as well as some cheesecloth to make it a little more interesting. And in the back pocket, I've completed the use of that nice sheet of paper that came in, in a happy mail. And that completes this book. Once again, it folds over to a magnetic closure. It's just a simple, quick and easy little book. You see the little button um, where I bound it in. I bound it in with just a regular um, pamphlet binding. You see that on the edge. And that is my quick and easy Objects otherwise considered as trash representation for this month's Makers Creative Collab. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope you will follow through with this video hop. You will see all of the creatives listed in my description and the next person in line will be represented on my end screen. This is my finished project. The in screen or the next video is right here. So thank you so much. Please give us all a like, a share, a um, subscribe. We would appreciate that greatly. See you next month.